Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you the difference between the K Slim and the K Supreme. I've got videos where I took both of these apart and I show how they work when you, um, you put water through them with the backs open up. So I show you how to open up the back. But there's one major difference I'm going to show you. That's the heating element, how they heat their water. So down here, underneath the machine, right towards the front, is the heating element. This is the case Supreme, this is the case Slim. See how the heating element is different? Now they both act pretty close to the same as far as speed and temperature, but they look a lot different. Here's the heating element on the Supreme. It's kind of a coil. The heating element is down the middle. Your water comes in, you know, it comes in the bottom, and it goes out the top and it gets heated. Over here on the Slim, it's got two stages of heating. It comes in on this one, goes down, then there's a pipe that goes from, then there's a pipe, that, there's a tube that goes from this tube over to another one, which goes to the second stage of heating. And it comes over to here, and then heating almost kind of sandwiched in between the two pipes. That's, so there's three pipes. The middle one is the heating, the actual heating element, and the two pipes on the outside are what, where the water goes. So here we've got the, this has got the five needles. This has got the single needle. So on the Supreme, it's got five needles. This is one I took out of another one. It's got the single tube that comes up and water comes out. This is like a, a manifold. Water comes out of all of these needles at the same time. So there you've got the five needles and there's little ports. Now, obviously the majority of the water comes out the center, but you do have some ports where the water comes out on the sides. Now they all have this little flapper that uh, is held down when, the, when it's closed. There's a bracket that holds that flapper down. But when it's up, it just kind of flaps like that. You can see they both have that bracket. When it closes, it holds that down. Here's the single needle, kind of the same deal. So what's really surprising is how much they are similar. I, I knew these things were similar. Um, I actually thought the heat numbers would be identical, but they're not. But man, they both have a water pump, water pump, air pump, air pump. You know, even the circuit card looks really, really, really similar. They both have a ribbon cable that goes up to the top. So they both have a water reservoir with two tubes that come off. And the two tubes go to the bottom of this. They both have the same box. There's this box. This is for, for water quantity. This gives you your add water light. The water goes up in the box as the reservoir. So when the, wa when the reservoir is installed, the water goes up in the box from that tube. This is the other tube that goes to the uh, intake of the water pump. That's kind of like a pressure switch, but they both are identical with that same box. You know what, this box doesn't have that pressure sensor. Nope. So that sensor is installed, looks like somewhere else, like right here, but that looks like that's the heating element. So that must be a sensor for the heating element. So they both have a micro switch right there when the door is closed. So, you, so the machine won't operate until you have it down. You can hear that micro switch in there. It's clicking right there. They both have this manifold up here with overpressure relief, and it's got a little tube that comes off and goes to the back of the circuit card. Same with this. Here's what that circuit card looks like. And there's that little tube connects right there, and that's called a pressure probe on the card. Looks like a chip. So check out my next video. I'm gonna open up a K-Slim, or a K-Mini and a K-Mini Plus. I've been reading a lot of viewers have been having problems with those leaking water. I'm going to try to find where the leak's coming from. So I'm just really, I knew these things were, like I said, I knew they were really close to being the same on the inside, just by the way they operate. They sound the same. They, they pretty much operate about the same speed, but they are a little different. Um, there was like a pressure switch and mainly, you know, the heating element, which I'm not sure which one's better. But the K-Supreme is a very good coffee maker, and so is the K-Slim. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.